Origin and History of the New Testament in the Light of Recent Research. Before the New Testament was written, the Hebrew prophets foretold the coming of a great everlasting Hebrew king, whom many called Messiah. They also foretold the presence of the Lord's Spirit with humans. That there would be a new covenant between the Lord and humans. That Gentile nations would come to believe in Israel's God. These prophets spoke, wrote, and edited new scripture. In the decades before Jesus came, the Qumran community in Israel awaited one or more, Son of God, Son of the Most High, whom they expected to arrive sometime between 3 BCE and 2 CE. They sought a new covenant apart from the Jerusalem temple. They kept biblical and other scrolls from which copies were made, for which they had a scriptorium in which copies were made and corrected. Jesus himself said that he had come to fulfill those prophetic scriptures. Thus he appointed twelve apostles whom he would send out to the nations. He promised to send to them the Holy Spirit. He initiated the new covenant by his own death. Finally, he commissioned his apostles to go make disciples amongst the nations. Following Jesus' death and resurrection, the apostles received the promised Holy Spirit. They began proclaiming Messiah crucified and risen. They performed authenticating miracles often citing First Testament scriptures. The apostles launched the ongoing mission to Gentile nations. During the apostles' lives and following, eyewitnesses wrote down facts about Jesus. The apostles recognized each other's scriptures and apostles copied and edited gospel accounts. Christian believers carried copies of those scriptures to other cities, where literate scribes copied and corrected apostolic scriptures. During the 2nd and 3rd centuries, Christians everywhere were reading New Testament copies and other books. Scribble variants appeared in some of their copies, which were made in codex books employing unsealed letters and abbreviations of divine names. Early translations were made into languages including Aramaic, Latin, and Coptic. Churches everywhere accepted the four Gospels and the epistles of Paul. In the 4th century, interchurch councils agreed on the 27 books now included in the New Testament. Unseal codexes began to be copied by imperial decree. New Testament books were bound together with Old Testament books and other writings. Older translations were revised and new ones were made. All churches came to accept the 27 New Testament books as authoritative. In the 5th through 10th centuries, many Greek manuscripts were copied, corrected, and paraphrased. Translations came to be official versions in some countries. 
Some translations conformed to Greek grammar, whilst Latin came to dominate in many countries. Other Christian writings also circulated. In the 11th through 18th centuries, thousands of Greek and other language copies were made. Minuscule handwriting replaced unseal characters, and bound Bibles became widely available. Printed Bibles appeared in Latin, Greek, and spoken languages, even though in some place the reading of Scripture was forbidden to the laity. In the 19th, 20th, and 21st centuries, skepticism grew towards the Gospel accounts. At the same time, scholarly editions of the Greek New Testament appeared. There are now thousands of translations in regional and tribal languages, whilst archaeology permits historical research into Jewish and Roman backgrounds. Nevertheless, atheists and Islamists undermine popular confidence in the New Testament. We draw seven inferences from this overview. First, we do not possess the Apostles' original manuscripts. But we do possess copies from the second century and afterwards. We do possess the Apostles' original message, although some copies employ variant wording of some verses. And more ancient copies are being discovered almost every year. Scholars are able to reconstruct the original wording of the New Testament with a high degree of probability as they do with other ancient documents. Linguists who study ancient and modern languages produce highly reliable translations in our languages. Thus those who believe and obey their New Testament come to experience all that the Apostles wrote about. Therefore, Christians may safely and confidently put their trust in their New Testament translation.